Hi guys, welcome to the second uh, method of how to import Kunis into a SAFE uh, From the first lesson, I've taught you how to create a CSV file. From this this method, we mainly will be working in the CSV file. So you have to be a bit uh, acquainted with the how a CSV file or an Excel sheet works. So we open our CSV file, which is our data. In this case, it's Kali, which we created uh, on a previous on the previous lesson. So, uh, first order of business is to we change the row or the column which which has our point ID. Then we select that one. Then you select cut. Then you paste it after the set value. Then you interchange between the X and the Y value, which means the Y value will start as we use in survey uh, the y value starts before the x value then you cut and paste then after that you right click then you select then you cut again then you move uh, you move your uh, your cut your y and x onto the correct position then you paste like this so now we have y x z then the point id at the end from there, if you remember, we had something called the string file. Uh, the, first, the first column, you insert another blank page on top, blank column. Then, from there, depending on the naming, for this, in this case, I'm going to say for every bound, B, B, O, U, 1, uh, going forth, I'm going to use a string, a string, string number is the one that you're going to be using on the first column the first column you'll be putting string numbers so in this case for the bound i'm going to use string number one so i'll drag my number one up to where the bound ends then i go to where the road is rid one let's say i'm going to use string number two for learning purposes for every error i'm going to use that one up to where the error ends then i drag up to that then for sports, I think the sport is where we have SH. I'm going to use, uh, let's say, 5. String number 5. You'll see where the numbers the, where the numbers work when we are done with importing. So I'll be going through all the information. Yes, the string. Then for the tools, I'm going to use the number that we haven't used. I think it's number 3. Then again, I drag for every choice up to the. I think Sierra is the first. So for Crest, I'm going to use number six and so forth. If you continue doing this, you can use whichever number that you want or that is required for your data. Then for this one, I'm going to use number eight because I think it's a D. I think it's a point where it's a control point then you continue doing this up to the end for every information that you have uh, uh, then you do that for the information that you have for learning purposes I'm going to just drag up to where I can doing this to the you have to check every information up to the last one I think I, I used number three for the tool Eight for a control point. Three again for the tool. Let's hope I'm not wrong. Yes, paste. I think I used six. Again, this is a paste paste. Yes, six six. And this is a control point again. So I'm going to use eight, eight, eight. Then after that, we are done on naming our coordinates our string files then this is the critical part you have to put zeros on the first line zero 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 and then extra zero then zero again on top zero 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 then you, you go to the bottom then you put another line of zeros we have zero 
zero, zero, zero. So the zeros on the bottom will tell SEPAC when to end. So you go zero, zero, zero. Then you write the end command at the end. Then you save the CSV file. Then save it. Okay. Then you exit. Then it will show us that what we want to name it learning to learning. Learning. Sorry, learning two. It's the second learning two. Then save as CSV file, comma eliminated. Don't don't forget that then you save. Then save. Here we go. This is now our string file learning two. Then we go to save back. Again, remember we we said our learning directory. Uh, our learning is our working directory. Then you just refresh. You hit the right click. Then you go to refresh. After refreshing, you can see the CSV file written learning two is here. This is where it gets fun. You click the CSV file. You click it again the with the left click. Then you change the extension where it is written CSV. You change it to str which means it's going to be a string then you press enter again this method you can actually use it again to change it, to change a string file into a csv file then once after that is done again we have our learning tool is now a string file you can see with the extension and everything then you just drag it up into the uh, window then we have that's how it looks the information that's how it looks then thank you for watching we will show you how to manipulate the data in the next video and if you can check i just want to do a comparison between this one and the first one uh from learning one and you spot the difference you see this one has some points with the same color they from learning one then from learning two because of the string file we were naming it have different colors uh we'll show you about the strings later on on another video thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe